the importance of checking whether you have plants that are loose in their pots. Welcome to today's Clevia Chat here at Clevia's for Africa. My name is Marnie and I'm going to talk to you about why is it important to check your plants whether they loose in pots and also what to do. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so if you have a quick look at this plant, um, it looks healthy other than this leaf here, which might not be a big issue because plants do shed old leaves there at the bottom. But if you quickly have a look at this plant, it seems very healthy. It's making new leaves, everything. Um, but I, I picked up on this leaf and what I normally do is I go through my plants, especially my top breeding plants. I go through them on a regular basis and I just tuck them on the leaf. So I sort of do this. Now, I just want to put it down that you can see. If you have a look here, this plant is loose in the pot. So when I tucked it, I saw, hang on a sec, something, look at the bottom. Look there where I'm showing with my finger something is wrong with this plant now if this leaf was yellow and this plant was not loose in the pot it's no issue um, i probably would have just took this leaf and just pull it out and it's an old leaf no issue however if this plant has got some issues with the roots below then the first sign is going to be yellow leaves you know creeping up here at the bottom and uh yeah luckily i went through and i picked that up and i'm going to show you so the first let me just turn this camera around okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the plant uh from the pot and from the soil i'm going to investigate and have a look at the roots i've got a suspicion there might be a problem with the roots let's have a look all right so as always just gonna push the pot a little bit to loosen up the the medium and it's gonna turn it to the side and just give it a little bit of a shake and get my plant out here yeah exactly what i thought so Okay, just gonna put the plant there. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is, okay, um, this medium that I've removed here, look at all the dead roots. Uh, so this is all roots that have died. Um, I just wanna show you here, I'm just picking them up. They're all over in this medium look at all these dead roots um, so there's definitely a big issue with this plant in terms of the roots whether it was root rot whether it's an old problem i'm not sure the point is that this plant has lost most of its roots and uh, here is the plant now as you can see i mean it's supposed to have many many more roots than what it's got here i mean look at look at these dead roots that i'm I'm taking out here so um, yeah so this is a big problem this poor plant has got one two three four basically four and a small root um, to grow and the biggest problem is got all these berries so this plant actually needs a lot of nutrients and a lot of feeding in order to keep the plant healthy as well as the berries uh, to grow to an age where they're going to be ripe next year so um, it's a very good thing that i've taken this plant out because if these four or five roots would have been lost as well in the next month then typically you'll have a plant that just one day it will just fall over you'll get to the pot and your plant will be lying down and it will have no roots and then it's getting much bigger of a challenge to save the plant and then there's a big chance of probably losing the seeds that i've got going here 
Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is, you'll see here at the bottom, uh, I hope you can see with the light, uh, there's a bit of sort of dead material. So there's definitely a bit of rot going on here. Um, so there's some bacteria, some fungus at work, and uh, that's probably the culprit that's been killing these, these roots as well. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, I'm going to scrub this plant with uh, some anti antibacterial dishwashing soap to get it nice and clean, and uh, then I'm going to um, treat it with a bit of uh, fungicide, bactericide, and I'm going to plant it over into a new medium, into a new pot, and. Uh, Hopefully we can save this plant and get it to grow some new roots um, as soon as possible. Okay, the light, it's not ideal, but uh, I've got a tap here with some water. And uh, I've got a spray bottle with some water and uh, antibacterial dishwashing liquid in there. And uh, I've got an old toothbrush. Uh, with very soft hairs that uh, that I use to to clean the, the especially the base of this of this plant. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a small plant. It's in miniature, and that's why I'm so concerned. This is quite a valuable plant to me. So the first thing, obviously, will be to take some water and uh, and just rinse the the plant and uh, all the roots and just uh, sort of just cleaning them you know cleaning the soil from uh, from the roots and from the base of the plant uh, there's even a bit of small pieces of uh, of rotten root that uh, that I'm also taking out here and uh, okay so now that I've just uh, rinsed it a little bit and everything is nice and wet, I'm going to take this. Uh, I'm going to take this sort of soap water mix. You can see it's giving a nice bit of, of foam off there, and I'm just spraying all the roots with it, and especially here at the base of the plant, um, I'm just spraying it here on on the toothbrush and uh, yeah then what I'm gonna do is it's gonna get a bit closer I hope you can see with the light and uh, just very softly cleaning the the base of this of this plant here inside between all the roots and uh, little bit up here on the base so uh, you can see it's nice and brown there and then uh, I'm just gonna wash the toothbrush and normally I will just give it a, a good spray with the soap and then I'll just leave it to dry out so if there are any germs that will be killed just gonna spray it, all the dirt off here and then uh, I'll just leave it it can actually dry with this little bit of of soap on it um, it's just gonna help to kill whatever ever germs are still left on this plant okay so back at my work table I've got a clean pot and uh, I've got my clean medium as always. I've got the plant here um, that's been cleaned and washed properly. And uh, yeah, the next step now is to plant this, this clivia. But before I'm going to do that, just a second, let me just get something. Okay, there we go. So what I've got here is um, just normal cinnamon. Um, now cinnamon is a organic uh, fungicide and it's also a 
root growth hormone so those two qualities actually makes it ideal to treat a plant like this um, there are lots of other things that you can use you can use a uh, flower of sulfur um, it's also effective you just you know you just uh, apply that here to the base and to the roots uh, you can spray it with something like bravo it's a very good fungicide so that should also kill whatever is on here um, in this case I'm just going to use a bit of good old um, cinnamon so I'm just going to somewhat do it over the medium so if I do waste a bit it will go into the medium that I'm going to use here right now to plant the plant in so that will also be a good thing if there's a little bit of of this inside of the medium to protect the plant so I hope you can see here so I'm just sprinkling uh, the cinnamon here all over uh, the plant where I've just washed it clean and uh, I'm also just going to sprinkle a bit here over the, the roots just to make sure all the germs and hojas are cleaned out and uh, taken care of. And uh, Okay, so now we've got something that's going to, you know, that have killed, that's going to kill the fungus and also something that's going to help this plant to grow out some new roots um, as soon as possible so the next step I'm gonna hold the pot here and uh, just gonna put our plant in there lucky thing that this plant has got four or five roots left I think that's gonna help this plant to, to recover so much quicker than when it would have lost all its roots Okay, and there we go. It looked like that would probably plant is nice and straight up. Um, with a plant that have lost so many roots, um, I will press a little bit harder on the soil than what I normally do um, because this plant's gonna, you know, need to be tight in the pot in order for it to stand still and allow it to grow new roots so i would normally press the the medium a little bit harder not not very hot but a little bit harder just to make sure that the plant is nice and tight here in the pot um, so and then what i do is also take a bit of cinnamon and even sprinkle it here sort of just around the base of uh, of the plant and uh, yeah I think that should probably do it there we go so as you can see new medium a little bit of cinnamon in there and uh, so yes the plant is still a little bit loose but this medium um, I'm going to water it now and as I water it, it will already compact a little bit more and the plant will already sit a little bit more tight. Um, if the plant is too loose, you always can take one or two small rocks and just place it next to the plant against it and uh, sort of just to keep it in position. This one for me feels, you know, tight enough and it's standing straight and I think if I've watered it, it should be fine so yeah so that is a good thing and uh, you know that shows you how important it is 
to on a regular basis just walk through your plants you know just you know softly tuck them on their leaves and just make sure you know all your plants are tight in the pots because uh, that's a very nice way to pick up at an early stage if there's a problem with one of your plants and then as we've just done now you can replant it you can clean it and you can give it so much better chance of recovering i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learn something and that it can help you with a plant maybe that's got a problem on your side in future um, like this video share it with your friends and please subscribe to our youtube channel uh, it might not seem important but it's going to help me a lot uh, to continue make, making uh, these clever videos and thank you for watching these videos until next time bye bye <music>